So it says simplified. The only thing you guys know right now is a formula that is provided to you for the sum of two angles. All right? Yes, that's an angle we can evaluate for. Yes, that's an angle that's unknown. But before, instead, and before you start passing judgments, let's go ahead and try to plug them into the formula and see what happens. So the sine of the sum of two angles, which we'll call u and v, equals the sine of u times the cosine of v plus cosine of u times sine of v. All right, And I'm going to call this u and that v. Okay, So the next thing, Ryan, that I do now is I, if I know it, u is 3 pi over 2 and v is pi, now I just plug those in for u and v. Okay, Emily? That's really all we did last class period. You're going to give this formula. You're going to give it a problem like this. And you just plug in u and v into your problem. It's really basic as that. So it's sine 3 pi over 2 times the cosine of theta plus cosine of 3 pi over 2 times the sine of theta. Does that make sense? See what I did? So now we need to go and see if we can evaluate it. All right. So by going to evaluate, we have to go back to our unit circle and say, well, what is 3 pi over 2? Where is 3 pi over 2? Well, that's all the way right there, right? And on the unit circle, what is that coordinate point? 0, comma, negative 1. So if I want to evaluate the sine of that, the sine is the y coordinate, which is negative 1, times cosine of theta, which we can evaluate, plus cosine of that point is 0. Well, 0 times anything is 0. Negative 1 times cosine of theta is negative cosine of theta. Assuming you guys aren't going to need help on this, right? No. 